Visual Designer contains a large and growing number of ready-made shields and sensor modules, which include high-level methods for driving the electronics. There is, however, nothing to stop us drawing some circuitry ourselves, essentially creating our own Arduino shield. We can then use the CPU methods in Visual Designer to write our program. This movie will show a short example of this, with a button press turning an LED on. Let's start in Visual Designer. We want to respond to a button press, and the easiest way to do this is to turn on a pin change interrupt. Drag and drop the enable interrupt method into the setup routine, and then edit. There are two available interrupt pins on the UNO, so we'll select INT0 and set the interrupt to trip on a falling edge. Next we need to define the pin our LED will be connected to, and set the mode to output. We now need to draw and connect this on the schematic. We won't go into detail here, the schematic entry is covered in depth elsewhere. Switch to component mode and place the button, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor and a pull-up resistor in some free space. Switch to terminal mode and place a power, a ground and two default terminals relative to the place components. Wire up the schematic parts and place a plus 5 volt label on the power terminal. Terminals on the schematic with the same name are considered connected together, so we need to find and then label the terminals with the correct I.O. identifier. The output pin we specified in our program but first the Arduino I.O. pin and not the physical pin on the chip. That's it. The pin will set a logic high until the button is pushed, which will drive it low and trip the falling edge interrupt we set up in the program. Back in the Visual Designer, we now need to handle the interrupt event. Drag and drop an event block onto the chart and edit. Give a sensible name and then specify the trigger as int0. We decided that we would turn on an LED when the button is pressed, so we need to write out our logic high on the specified pin. Drag and drop the digital write block inside the interrupt handler, name the pin, and set the state to true. That's it. Press play, then press the button to turn the LED on. You can easily add a few blocks to change the program into a toggle, or continue with developing the hardware on the schematic.